Hi everyone and welcome to Pro Tools Answers, where three Pro Tools people <laughs> demonstrate and elaborate on your Pro Tools questions put to the community in its official Facebook support forum. Please welcome Master Instructor Anders Motz. Hello. Possibly an expert uh, from Tom Craftwork in Austria and Master Instructor Andy Hagerman. People. People. How are you Very doing? potentially People. Uh, an expert as well. Um, and myself, Dave, user. and we take you into the workings of Pro Tools and Ethos to help the user community better understand the industry's app. In this question, as I've done it again, in this week's episode, in our special Christmas episode, what more of a festive uh, uh, subject can we pick than Mehmet's question? And it goes like this. Pro Tools Ultimate 2021.12 OS is Mojave 10.14.6. I say Mojave. Okay. Uh, I'm phonetic. Groups are not working properly. Faders, solo, mute, none of them work. And yes, the groups are active. They are not suspended. They are highlighted in the group's window. Global controls look fine in modify group's window. I've never had this weird issue before. Has anybody else had this problem before? Any suggestions, Andy? Question mark. Did he ask it to me? Uh, no, I'm paraphrasing. Oh, by the way, your reading was Dickinsonian. That was a great reading of the question. Thank I you think so much. Yeah. that puts us into the Christmas spirit. It's just, that was yeah, awesome. And, and just for the record, when you say like Christmas <clears throat> episodes, it it's literally December 24th it, today. It, it, it is. It's Christmas. And what what it's, episode number is this? I don't know, Anders. Don't ask me to do maths in the morning. Cause... You don't know? No, I don't. Oh, my God. No, I don't. It's... Because, well, actually, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's Ep episode 100. It's is episode it... 100. No, no. Is it actually episode 100? Because I know that last week you recorded 99, but on the, the Facebook, uh, Facebook, on YouTube, it's a little different. Okay, okay. Um, so uh, I'm just well, having a look. Might... It might be 100. We've recorded the 100th episode, but they didn't all make it to, uh, to, to YouTube. Mm. This is going to be episode 98. All right. Okay. I was I was hoping it was going to be 100, Anders. I'm with you. It's, okay. still, but it it's still Christmas Eve. Um, it's still Christmas Eve, yeah. So, so let's so, get going. So, yeah. let's, so, so there are a couple of uh, things that can be... be uh, uh, be happening here, uh, Andy uh, um, or, or and Dave, of course. Uh, what's your number one suggestion here, Andy? I think I think we we had a conversation about this before the show. I think what's happened is that he set up a group and it works and everything's fine, and then he he set up something called a VCA track, which basically controls a group, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden <clears throat> things went kerflui and and the groups didn't behave properly. He doesn't mention that in his email, but I'll bet you dollars to donuts that that's what it is. And and it goes to something that is is a preference um, that you can enable or disable depending upon what kind of behavior you want um, regarding VCA behavior. Uh, actually, regarding the behavior of groups mm -hmm. when they're controlled by a VCA. So can, okay. is this is uh, something that you can show us maybe? I can. I can. Let me share. We don't screen. do that here, Anders. Don't, don't change the program. <laughs> okay, so question answered. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on. I want to yeah. get back home to my family. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I got here, and this is actually not a long uh, description, but it's an important one, right? Yep. So, so I've got these tracks, and I'm going to go ahead and Command G, and I'll make a group of them, and I'm not going to name it anything. Great, fantastic. We're going quick. Okay. Mm -hmm. At this point, now if I move this, all of these are are moving the way that they're supposed to. And and if I go to modify groups, you'll see uh, modify um, that it's following my global settings, mm -hmm. right? <clears throat> and my globals have volume and mute uh, automation modes. And let's go ahead and choose solos again, you know, just just for fun. Mm -hmm. uh, it's following my globals here, my global settings. Now, one of the things that could be happening, but I don't think it's what's happening, is if follow globals is off. It yep. will not follow the globals. It will follow whatever attributes you have set in the attribute tab. So if you have them off, you know, if you've got everything turned off, then the group would essentially do nothing. I don't think that's what's happening, but it's a or, possibility. That, is this or, version dependent, Andy? Or, no. Andy, if, if he's got to follow globals on, 
and in the globals tab he has the selected volume mutes or solos that could also be sure. and that mm -hmm. disables mutes solos and volume for each, every group that follows globals of course you're 100 percent right so 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 and uh, just, David, just, just just for the for the users that are using pro tools artist is this an artist feature because i think this is Sorry, a studio you, ultimate you, you, you 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 asked you asked is this version specific and i said no because we've had it for years i wasn't thinking vertically yeah so yeah. so the the ability to to um to go into the attributes and have them be be um, separate from your globals is version specific. And I believe, and I'm not 100% sure, uh, Anders, you want to check me on this. I think that um, in artist, sorry, in studio and ultimate, uh, this is the behavior. And I think with artist and intro, it's not. Yeah, I, I believe that's right. <clears throat> I think that's the case. I believe so too. I don't even have an art, uh, artist <coughs> or a... Uh, uh, the intro version, so I can't. Well, you're clearly too good for that. No, that's just what's happening. <laughs> He's not even good enough for that. <laughs> no, I'm not. But 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 here's my point: is I don't think this is what's happening. You're, and as you're right, but I don't think this is what happened. What I think is happening is this. So he's got this, and we've got all this stuff going. We've got the solos. The we're all great. Um, pans are not linked, so mm -hmm. so they're going to do their own thing, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the normal default group behavior that we all expect because that that's can, what you set up because that's what i set up and that's mm -hmm. that those are my group uh attributes now what mm -hmm. i'm going to do is i'm going to set up i'm going to create for myself a new vca track and again i'm just not naming anything it's because lazy mm -hmm. and right now you can see here that there's no metering that's not a bug um and <laughs> as soon as i go to the output assign which doesn't say an output path it says group no group I'll go here and I'll have it control group one and all of a sudden now we have a meter now completely um, aside from the topic of at hand this meter will show the highest level signal of any of the member tracks at any given moment in time so it doesn't show for example what an aux subgroup would show it shows something different which can be quite useful that's not what he's talking about but but there we have it now the group's still on and I've got my, my VCA, I move one of these tracks, and it looks like my group's broken. Mm -hmm. Now the group doesn't work the way it should, right? And now I do this, and it, it works a different way than what you thought it was. It doesn't solo all of them, it solos just the one. What's going on? And what's going on can be found in the setup menu, preferences. Oh, here we go with the preferences dance. Preferences dance. I, and I know where this one is, in the mixing tab. <laughs> Um, and in the automation section, you're going to see a very, it, it, it's a kind of a, 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 a arcane uh, bit of, of preference here. Standard VCA logic for group attributes, which doesn't, doesn't really tell you anything unless you know, you're headed down this road already. Now, standard VCA logic for group attributes will basically assume that because you're using a VCA, you want the VCA to override certain group attributes. So for example, if I move this fader, sorry, let me go ahead and click here. For example, if I move this fader, they all move. But I also have the ability to move tracks individually without holding down the, uh, the control key or, or deactivating the group, and then they're all good. Which, that's the standard way that we want to work with VCAs that quote unquote save us time, right? That's standard VCA and this, logic. That's the standard VCA logic. And then when, if you go with this, it's what's happening, and it's hard to show because I've only got these tracks, mm -hmm. is it's soloing all the members of this track. You can see here that none of these tracks are going mute. Actually, what's happening is they're all going solo. Okay? So those are the standard VCA logic. It's basically Pro Tools assuming you want to use VCA tracks, and you want to use it in such a way that generally speaking, is going to save you the most time. So the VCA track is going to take some of the load off of what your group is doing so that you have the flexibility of not having your groups active and the flexibility of having your groups active. I think basically yeah. having the, 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 so the Andy, just to, to expand on this slightly, Andy, if you go into modify groups on the on this group that you have yep. and it's still active, right? And and let's let's link the behavior of the pan. Which you probably never ever do, but just I to don't show, usually know. But, but but just to show uh, in the globals, go up and link pan. Yeah, uh, just to show that this group is still 
actually active in the background. So if you hit the yeah. okay now, and the pan is nothing that you can control using the VCA. Mm, and as you can no see, the, 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 the panner still works for the group because the group is active, but all of the other functions like the volume, solos and mutes have been suspended mm. and the VCA track is now controlling those. I'd, I'd exactly say, right. I'd say that the, the door is assuming that if you put a VCA track in there and you've connected it to a specific group, you know what that VCA is for. Mm. And right. You've got it there specifically to, to control the parameters you want to control under the VCA uh, workflow. So why would right. they work individually? And, and, what, and, what, and what I think mm. Pro Tools is, is saying almost cheekily is like, if you don't want this logic, if you don't want this to happen, why are you using the VCA in the first place, mm -hmm. right? Um, and 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 that's that's a little bit. Oh, I think that's a little bit outrageous what I just said because if you want to have your groups work um, normally and have the ability of a VCA without changing the behavior of that group, you can do that. You can go back up here to setup. You go to preferences again, mixing, and then turn off standard VCA logic for group attributes. Now, what will happen is your group will do exactly what it did before, and your and your VCA will also do what it did before, right? Um, and you'll do this, and all of them will solo like they did before. This will also do the same thing, right? Again, arguably, it diminishes, you know, that mm -hmm. the 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 beneficial yeah, effect yeah. of of using a VCA, but it, that's a personal choice, man. Whatever works for you, and you know, hopefully, what's what's happened with this question um, is that you know now the guy's going, oh right, I got a VCA on here. Here's what's happening, and now that I know how this changes, you know, the lay of the land, now you can make the best of both worlds, the best of groups and the best of VCAs. So what's your I'm personal go back preference and here, my... Andy? Oh, I'm... <laughs> in fact, I'm going right back here and yeah, changing it back. back on. Yeah, I'm I'm totally, because, uh, I've always got that on. I never ever turn that off. No, no, me, me too. But you know, it's you know, someday I'll someday I I know I'll turn it off for some reason, and I'll go, oh great, that's the situation that that works. Um, but generally speaking, I want to have that enabled, and I'm going to click OK so I don't surprise myself at three o'clock in the morning at a recording session. <laughs> and that's it. That's that I think is the answer to to this person's question. Hopefully, it is. And Merry Christmas, or Happy Holidays, or Happy Hanukkah, or Kwanzaa. And this is what we do on this show. We cover all the bases. Well, All the bases. Everybody. All the bases. And I will say Merry Christmas back to all of you guys as well that are celebrating it, and Happy Holidays and all of that other stuff. But me and Anders, we're going to be celebrating Christmas, baby, right? Yes. And we're looking forward to it. Thank I, you. We don't really do anything until the beginning of the year. And then we have a thing called Oshogatsu, which for about a week we just sit down at the table and just drink beer slowly <laughs> from breakfast to dinner. I love Sounds this like idea. Christmas to me. So, so <laughs> oh, let's, let's break this down. So Andy's Christmas is a week-long yeah. drinking game. Yeah, well, it's not Christmas. It's New Year's. So, okay. so, so, so Chris, Christmas in Japan is kind of Valentine's Day in the rest of the world. You know, people do it to a certain degree. It's a lot for couples. Um, it, we do it to a certain degree over here. Uh, we'll have a, a Christmas Eve dinner in just a few minutes after the show. Mm. Um, but more, that's more because I come from America than anything else. Uh, but starting on January 1st through, you know, the first four or five days, depending upon where it hits in the week, the first day we, we wake up in the morning. Go downstairs. Uh, Juco, my wife is going to throw a bunch of food on on the table, um, and then a bottle of beer with tiny little Japanese beer glasses, and we just drain them all day long. Sounds fantastic. <laughs> so you just you just slowly glide into oblivion. Hold that thought, Andy. Yeah, we'll be there in about fifteen hours. Yeah. <laughs> Don't move. Wrap the gifts, put them back in the box, get on a plane. <laughs> Thanks very much, Andy, for that. That was uh, that was a terrific explanation. Um, and Anders as well, your contribution. Yeah. Thank you. It's per perfectly normal, perfectly acceptable. You're very good at what you do, sir. 
Oh, so are you, Dave. <laughs> For all the value that I added to this episode. Stop it. Thank you very much to you guys. Uh, thank you very much to you guys for watching. Uh, have a uh, terrific Christmas, and we will see you in our New Year's uh, episode as well. Um, if you haven't yet done so, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. And you can hit the bell icon uh, that will uh, notify you every time we upload our new videos. Uh, if you could uh, stick a like on this video as well, that would help us enormously. Uh, you can also head over to ProTalsAnswers.com where you can find out a little bit more about us and what we're up to. Uh, you can also join our inner circle over there as well and you can read about all of the, the, the various benefits uh, from joining our uh, one of our two inner circle tiers. And uh, hopefully if you decide to join the larger one, we will see you at, in our Discord community and our masterclasses in the new year. Um, just want to say thank you to you guys, you two guys, Anders and Andy. Um, it's been a fantastic year one of the best actually considering what we've all gone through um it the last couple of years really have been fantastic and for me it's uh you two have been a large part of it and uh, i appreciate you immensely and it's the same with our youtube community as well and our inner circle community we appreciate you guys incredibly uh, too we will see you in the new year thank you very much to you guys my name's dave this is pro tools answers and we're out